is going on here? Now we're going down a mountain. This should be interesting. We might want to keep that camera rolling. Oh my god. They're the worst marshmallow I've ever tasted. <laughs> this is very unlevel. It's about an inch and a half too high in the front. Oh, did you get that? Holy cow. Did you get that? I can feel it. I can feel it. <laughs> That's not fair. Whoever wins, you should get a prize from the camp store. Shut up. Good morning, guys. We are in the process of attaching the truck right now. We are about to head out on another adventure. So. The kids right now think that we are going to a state park. We actually tricked them. We are not going to the state park. We're going to Luray, Virginia to the Yogi campground. My son is 16. He probably won't even actually care that much, but my daughter has been wanting to go to that campground. She doesn't really show excitement very much, so I'm not anticipating that she'll be like, oh my God, oh my God. But I think she'll be really excited, so what we're doing. What are you looking on? On Google Maps? I just looked it up. Now the state park. The only one that popped up was the one on the water on the east part of Virginia. No, this is a... Uh... It's not a state park. It's like a Bell Isle campground. I don't know. I gotta look at it. Yeah. Traffic is at a standstill. On one side. Um, in one lane, which makes no sense. People not getting over. Does that make sense? No. Truckers, long gray, use lower gears. What the heck is going on here? We were trying to get in somewhere. Oh, they're trying to get into the park. Oh my God. Wait, to... seriously? Look. Only people trying to get into the national park, Shenandoah Park. Oh my God! All of this traffic is for that. Yep. Oh my gosh. And look at this side too, at the left side, I'm oncoming as well. That's also wow. Park. It's a national. It's probably beautiful because of the yeah. changing leaves and uh, all way that. Down. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Glad we're not going there this time. Now, now we're going down a mountain. This should be interesting. You might want to keep that camera rolling. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, look at that fifth wheel. Ooh, it's for sale. We should buy it and the truck. Yeah. I really I'm want good. a fifth wheel. I really want a fifth wheel. And I really don't want a fifth wheel. Right, I have a quick tip for all you travel trailer drivers out there. Or well, even probably if you own a uh, Class A or a Class C. It'd probably help either way. I've noticed that in mountain driving, I like to keep it on third and fourth gear, right? When you're going up the hill, that way you don't leave the automatic transmission to figure it out. It's easy to figure out on your own. And when you're going down the mountain, put it on second gear and you can just pretty much coast. And I have a uh, Ford F-150 V6 turbo boost. Didn't you want to come to this park? Searching parks, wasn't she? No, I wasn't. Lena, I'm pretty sure you wanted to come to this place. No, I didn't. I, I never even looked at campgrounds unless you guys were looking at them. You telling me you never researched this campground right here? Jellystone Park. <laughs> you never researched this one? This is not Bell's Isle. Welcome to Jellystone, Elena. Yogi Bear Town. Where is it? What is that noise? <laughs> this is our setup for the next couple days. A little unlevel, but cozy. Got trees, got beautiful changing leaves. 
just barely were, were able to get the uh, awning out. So you got about six, six to eight inches there. And uh, we have water, sewer, and electric. And here's the other side. Pretty cool location. Check out this view, y'all. The trees are starting to change colors. We should have waited maybe another week or two to really come to the mountains. It would have been beautiful. So the kids just absolutely love these smashmallow pumpkin pie marshmallows. Don't you kids? I'm not eating. Thank you. They're very reminiscent of tofu. How do you feel about them, Elena? They're disgusting. No, they're not. They are very, very delicious. Watch this. They're the worst marshmallow I've ever tasted. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a tofu marshmallow hybrid. Let me let me try it. Marshmallow aren't supposed to look like tofu. Mmm. Ew. <laughs> Throw that in the fire. <laughs> You should become the spokesperson. Stop it! They're delicious. Mm. Mm -hmm. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's a nice, crisp morning here at a uh, Jellystone Park, Virginia, Luray, Virginia. Yeah, I even had to start my first morning campfire it's a crispy 30 32 degrees i believe you can see the leaves i feel like overnight they have already changed colors plan for today is just to maybe level this trailer because this is very unlevel it's about an inch and a half too high in the front so when we shower the water pools in the back of the tub and can possibly overflow so I want to level that this morning and we're gonna explore the area. So let's get to the leveling shall we? So that attempt to level was unsuccessful So apparently you can't really adjust The front jack because once we disconnect it with the weight distribution bars you know you disconnect at a different height so it's hard to adjust that once you do that so moving forward I got a really good tip from another camper if the site is very unlevel take the weight distribution bars off before backing in that'll make things so much easier and your life so much better you just gotta love the camping community like somebody who's leaving from a, one of the cabins just came over here and gave me this whole brand new bag of wood like so cool like such a, a friendly helpful giving community trying to find a good spot to launch my drone because I want to get some shot of these mountain views Right now we are going to drive around the campground so that you guys can get a feel for the layout and then after that we're going to go play some mini golf. Mm -hmm. Something to keep in mind at Jellystone, they're going to give you these wristbands and in order to participate in some of the activities on the campground, they're going to require that you have these wristbands. about to witness a whole lot of butt kicking. We're gonna keep score, because last time I won, like by a landslide. No, I won by a landslide. Today, you're gonna bear witness. This is a really nice golf course, right? Are we to put really nice, got some interesting obstacles going on here. Mm. 
No, that was no test. Whoa! Oh, whoa! Did you get that? Holy cow! Did you get that? Hole in one, baby. <laughs> that was no hole in one. What? <laughs> wow. Okay. Stop zooming in. <laughs> you might have messed up right there. That was a big screw up. What do you think about this course? It's a doozy. <laughs> what? Tres. I can feel it. I can feel it. Whoa, Sammy Sosa, you're not gonna make it. <laughs> I can stop filming this no. shot. Four, I got you beat. Yes. Yeah, I won the first one. Five. Six. Seven, <laughs> eight. It's stuck. <laughs> That's not fair. Oh, look at it. This is the final hole, guys. Juwan and Elena are in a tie. This is for the tiebreaker. This is for the winner. You feel pressure, buddy? This is for all the marbles, buddy. This hole. Two. Uh oh. Three. Jawan made it in three. I was gonna say, whoever wins, you should get a prize from the camp store. One. Elena, you gotta win on this next stroke. One. Two. Oh, she's the winner. She is the Yogi. Jellystone Champion. How do you feel, hon? How do you feel? It's still my turn. Nobody, <laughs> nobody cares. How do you feel? I feel great. Now I get a prize from the camp store. And that's final. I've won. How do you feel coming in second place? You lost. You okay? You lost. Shut up. <laughs> He's a little bitter. But hey, it was a good competition. We're about to give you a sneak peek of the camp store sneak here peek. at Jellystone. So we are wrapping up our weekend at Jellystone Luray. And I would say overall, I had a pretty good time. What about you, Elena? It was cool. Did you think it was age appropriate for like 12, 13 year olds? Or you think it's geared toward, more towards like little kids? I feel like younger kids, cause I didn't really go on the jump pads or anything, but that was mainly cause there were so many people on them. Yeah. COVID. They have a ton of activities here for sure. I think pretty much any age range can find some sort of activity to do here. So one thing that I did want to mention is that when we were actually almost to the campground, I happened to just hop on Google to check the reviews. Uh, this was a last minute booking like a lot of our other trips. So we didn't really do a lot of planning ahead of time. So I don't know what drove me to go on Google and look at the reviews. That's not something that I typically do but I was a little alarmed at some of the negative reviews about this particular campground once I started reading through them. But needless to say, we had a great experience. One thing that we did notice when we got here was that the, there were no political flags, Confederate flags, which is something that we've never encountered before during this like heightened political season. You are still able to fly the American flag, military flags, and seasonal flags but all other flags are banned from this campground and they will enforce it there's this little flyer as you can see stating that that is no longer allowed so this is something that was implemented within the past week i believe based on the google reviews
So if that's something that is, you know, bothersome to you, then you don't have to worry about that at this campground. So that's pretty much been our experience at this campground. If you guys have been here before and you'd like to leave a comment about your experience, uh, please feel free to do so. Plus it will help boost our engagement. If you like the video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. We would truly appreciate that. And on that note, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.